Hey all, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, I just wanted to show you something kind of interesting. Um, I'll explain the reasons why I'm running this video in another video. Or I uh, uh, just wanted to show you something uh, called ikvm.net. <clears throat> Basically what it does, it will turn any uh, Java uh, class, I guess, into uh, a, what it does generated from a jar file uh, and then converts uh, that jar file into an exe file. <coughs> the process is fairly simple and it's fairly clean. Uh, it seems to work okay. Uh, <coughs> so you just come to this ikvm.net website. <coughs> you can also download it. It should take it to here. It's a SourceForge product, project. Obviously, download the latest one. Uh, current one I'm using is 0.4601. I don't need this Java 7. Um, and once you install it, uh, you can obviously run it. So let me just show you some Java classes I'm working with. Um, right now I have my web curve uh, simulator um, that I, I'm very uh, interested in turning these uh, Java test classes into uh, jars and then ultimately into exe files that can be called from my um, from my .NET uh, application, uh, maybe like an high frequency trading platform. <laughs> Dropping hints here. Anyways, um, let me just show you. So I have my web curve sim. Obviously, I'm in uh, the Eclipse here, um, and uh, essentially what I'm doing is I have this simple. Java class, it, you know, I've shown this application before. The test class is what I'm more interested in. Uh, opens up an exchange object, and then I can enter in orders into that exchange object. Um, and essentially, what you need to realize is this is all done within a main class. So, in my Java, or sorry, my Eclipse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an export. Uh, and then export to a runnable jar file. Okay, so uh, in this case, um, I'm wanting to launch my configuration of test one, uh, and then name the uh, jar file. In my case, I'm just going to call it curve one. I've got that generated already. Finish, and that's it. Um, and uh, let me just show you what gets generated. Typically, these jar files will get uh, created and 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 uh, created in this uh, the main workspace. But you, you, when, when you go through that uh, generation from the Eclipse, you do have ultimate control on where you want these uh, to get saved. But in my case, I'm just doing all the defaults. So in this case, I have my web curve. Uh, this is a jar file right here. Um, and it's executable. And that's a critical. It's not a regular jar file. It's, it's an executable. So I just want you to know that. Um, and then what I do is I'll just uh, I'm, I'm going to be really lazy here. I just copy this web curve into where my uh, that um, K IKVM exists. So it's in the bin file. So I, j I just you know lazy way just dropped everything into this bin folder. What I can do is when I CD over to it, as you can see here, I can then run the IV uh, KVM compiler against that um, jar file. So what will happen is um, it, it will go out, run it, create the uh, the exe from that jar file. Um, and then what will happen is uh, you'll get a bunch of warnings. Um, I'm only, like I said, I'm going to show you uh, this test class and the, the fifth test class here. That's all I'm going to work with. Um, and uh, let me just show you what gets generated. So if I have my web curve um, uh, jar, you, you can see there's the jar file we created earlier, and here's the new exe file. So when I run the web curve exe file, it runs uh, exactly the way it would within um, my my Eclipse. So let me just show you that. 
So there you go. Uh, here's the last line. Uh, 4,000, 2,000, let's say. Um, there you go. It's 4,000, 2,000, exactly what we wanted. Um, so now, if I do the same thing with the fifth uh, test class, do an export and all that stuff that I showed you, and again, the key here is to always make sure you choose the right launch configuration. So in this case, I'll choose test 5 and obviously rename the jar file to web curve 5. So doing the same thing as we did earlier um, in the workspace, here's my web curve 5. And then if I go back into this pin, bin folder when I drop it, drop it in there like so. Um, here's the web curve 5. <coughs> I can run that uh, uh, IKVMC, which is basically the compiler, but instead of the first one, I'm just going to run it against the fifth one. Okay. So again, warnings. Um, and what I'll do is just run this test class here within Eclipse. So as you can see, it's the different messaging is different. We're receiving messages and orders, and then I'll print out the that that information. So I'm sure it's done. Yep, everything's complete. So if I do a web curve on the fifth class, there you go. There's a new. Uh, uh, exe file that we created. We're going to run it. And it's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we see all those received messages, all that. And that's going up against the um, Exchange server. Uh, it's all self contained. Um, so, in an essence, this is important for me. Um, being this is a Java app, the web curve. The test classes are in Java, but I was able to create an exe file from it through this uh, 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 this ikvmc compiler, create the, the exe, and then now I can have my HFT platform basically uh, call it and uh, initiate that uh, test class as part of the way maybe to test my strategies or something. But that's pretty well it. Um, I hope that, that this method works um, in my .NET HFT platform. Hopefully this will help you out.